In this video, I'm going to differentiate y equals cosine x from first principles. Now, in the previous video, I differentiated sine x from first principles. I've got the first principles formula ready. I'm going to use the small angle approximations again. And I've got the compound angle formula ready. All of this is in the formula booklet. OK, so first of all, I'm going to identify that f of x will be cosine of x. And f of x plus h will be cosine of x plus h. So f prime of x will be the limit as h tends to 0 of cosine of x plus h. Take away cosine x divided by h. Now, with that cosine of x plus h, I'm going to use the compound angle formula here, where the a is x, the b is h, and we've got a plus there. So we'll get cosine x, cosine of h. Take away, because that's a plus, sine of x, sine h. So we'll have the limit as h tends to 0 of cosine of x, cosine of h, Take away sine of x, sine of h, take away cosine of x, all over h. Now, I'm going to group together the cosine terms here. So we'll have the limit as h tends to 0 of, so I've got that term with the cosine x and that term with the cosine x. So if I factor out cosine x of a single bracket, I can have cosine of h take away 1. And I've got take away sine x times sine of h, all over h. Now, as h gets smaller and smaller and smaller and closer to 0, the cosine of h will get closer and closer and closer to 1, take away h squared over 2. And the sine of h will get closer and closer and closer to h. So cosine of x times by 1, take away h squared over 2, take away 1, take away sine x times h, all over h. So we have the limit as h tends to 0. The 1s cancel each other out, so I'm going to have minus 1 half h squared times cosine of x, take away h sine of x all over h. Now I can divide through by the h. So the limit as h tends to 0. The h cancels here, so I'll have minus 1 half h cosine of x. And the h cancels here, so take away sine of x. So as h tends to 0, this term will tend to 0 because h is multiplying by it. So I'm going to get left with minus sine of x. And so that is why cosine x differentiates to minus sine of x.